Hey guys, what's going on? NGS back again for another video. Time for vlog number 97. We've reached the final stretch, my friends. Three more to go till we reach the big 100. A dream that I have been wanting to achieve for who knows how many years. I don't know why it's taken us this long, my friends. Life always has a way of working itself out, so we all get to 100 when we get there, so can it, Stoop? Anyway, let's move right along, shall we? I've got two big pieces of information to talk to you guys about, as well as just rambling on as usual. Might as well get the ramble stuff out of the way first. It's goddamn hot! It's 97 degrees right now! I'm dying! I'm dying! That's the rambling on for now. Let's move on to the information. First, let's start out with a rumor. Now, take this with a grain of salt, people. This is not officially announced. It has not been confirmed. But if you are a fan of this game series, you know that this would have happened eventually, especially if you know the developer. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 apparently set for a winter 2013 release date. Now, this might not come as a surprise to a lot of you. Actually, it shouldn't. I mean, it's a Naruto game. It's a big series. Of course, they're going to make another video game on it. And CyberConnect 2, of all people, as you guys know, if you were following the, um, the, um, the production for Storm Generations, you would know that in a couple interviews that Storm Generations is not Storm 3. It is just a filler game. We're saving Storm 3, all those big, crazy improvements, as the final game in the series, which you would assume would be the final Naruto game that has the entire story, all the way from beginning to the end of the series. That is the vibe they were giving off. Which would make sense, seeing as how Kishimoto, I could see him ending the series within the next year to year and a half. But like I said, take this with a grain of salt. This is not really confirmed. A couple of Japanese message boards and magazines have let it out that they are working on it. Now, like I said, I'm really going to keep all of my thoughts, my opinions, what I'd like them to add into Storm 3, really to myself because... It's not announced. They might not announce this for a couple of months. They might reveal that they're doing a complete overhaul in the game, which I highly doubt. Uh, but you can expect more of the same for Storm 3. I really don't think they're going to go above and beyond to try to change it since people like it. It sells and... Well, actually, if I, if I could add in some improvements, you know, outside of the stuff like Free Romy and such, um, I, would, I, would, I would just generally say... Wow us. That's all I gotta say. Don't just give us the bare minimum, just wow us. So, that's what I want to see from Storm 3. A lot of wowing, not just more of the same. Wow! So what do you guys think about Storm J- eh. What do you guys think- so many freaking damn subtitles. What do you guys think about Storm 3? Will you buy the game when it comes out? I know a lot of you will, but what are some of the changes? What are the things that you want to see added from Storm 2, subtracted from Generations, or maybe even brought over from Generations? What do you think? Tell me down below in the comments section. The next piece of information is official for years upon years upon years, ever since the PlayStation Move was announced that it would be coming out. There was always one game, just one game in particular that if there were ever a game to play with motion controls in beautiful, gorgeous, high definition, this would be it. And finally, Capcom has announced that the cult classic Okami will be receiving an HD upgrade and launching on the PlayStation 3 via PSN this fall. I cannot begin to tell you how happy this makes me. I am... I'm not going to say I'm the biggest Okami fan out there, but the, the game itself, in my opinion, is the most underrated title this generation. You might have your own, but personally to me, I don't think that game got a, got a lot of love. It got critical acclaim, but the sales weren't there. Maybe Sega doesn't know... Not Sega. Well, Sega is another company that doesn't know how to properly market games outside Sonic. Valkyria Chronicles. Yeah, so fuck you, Sega. Um, maybe Capcom doesn't know how to properly market games outside of their big trio, Resident Evil, Street Fighter, and... What was that other game? No, no. Now nah, they're doing a bad job marketing Devil May Cry 2. Anyway. Yeah, Capcom really pushed that one under the table. The game is just so great, and the fact that it is receiving a second coat of paint with this HD upgrade, with PlayStation Move support added, it's finally going to give me a reason to play my Move. You see, I have spent more time playing ported games from the Wii with the PlayStation Move than I have any original PlayStation Move game. What the fuck, man? Seriously! I mean, despite the fact that I like that technically they perform better on PS3 than Wii, other than that, what the fuck is Sony doing with the Move? What games are coming out? 
Don't give me this move compatible bullshit because 99% of the games work better with the DualShock. They're designed around it. Yes, you have those examples that actually work well, like Heavy Rain or Resident Evil, but that goes back to the point that you can still play them with the DualShock. Where are my original games? Where are my original titles? I don't want to see another sports game complication. I don't want to just see a mediocre working move game. Sony, jack of all trades, master of none for Christ's sake. Seriously. And that doesn't mean that I'm saying the Kinect is any better, but you know what I'm saying. So the game launches this fall and it will retail for $20 on the PlayStation Network. I will definitely be downloading the game. I don't think it is going to be making a uh, retail release seeing as how, um, seeing as how, ugh, can't speak today, damn weather. Seeing as how, you know, it's it's not really a profitable enough game for them to release it uh, in stores, so digital download, download is the best approach, which I can definitely understand them doing. I, I really have no complaints about that, uh, seeing as how I'm, I'm happy that we are getting an HD transfer of Okami. And seriously, if you guys want to play a game that you've probably never experienced before, definitely check it out. Try it with the PlayStation Move. The game is gorgeous. It's breathtaking. You will not dis be disappointed. I can guarantee you that. And, well, with that, my friends, comes the end of Vlog number 97. When will Vlog 98 come out? I am not sure. I just cannot really wrap my head around when I'll actually get back on schedule with doing these Vlogs. I think I'm going to try to space out the last three, seeing as how I want to build up some um, momentum behind them, seeing as how... Um, actually, you know what? Now that I remember, I used to always release Vlogs on Thursdays, and then they switched to Saturdays, and then... They went back to Thursdays, and I don't know. It's always been sketchy when it comes to uh, vlogs. But anyway, I want to thank you for watching this video, guys. I'm a GS signing out. Comment down below on what you think about Storm 3 and Okami receiving an HD transfer. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.